Okay, guys, it's like 1.14, something like that, 1.30 on a, it's almost a full moon, which is, it's great. It's bringing about all this change, and, you know, it's, uh, I've been watching the moon a lot, and definitely taking effect on me, so, so that's why I got up the confidence, I guess, to, um, I want to make an update on some of my previous videos, like, um, that one about identifying Muladora, Muladara and people, the base chakra, people that are, like, the majority of people you'll see are very, I don't know, Muladara-esque, like, you know, when you're mostly focused on Muladara, you're more focused on things like, like, am I going to pay my rent? Am I going to be able to pay my rent? Am I, uh, like, where am I going to stay? Will I get food? Or, you know, food is kind of one of more basic things. Like, like when I started to get into the occult or more, more religious circles, like, a lot of them said... When they were kids, like, their parents were pretty secular. They didn't really do anything, but, but they did the food. So, like, the food is the first thing. That's the bare, I think, food is one of the more mundane things in life or more, like, more muladari or, you know, when someone's, I guess, when they're not eating the right foods, when they're eating junk food all the time, that's a good indication that they are at Muladara. They're, they'd be the untouchables in the caste system where, you know, they're not thinking about how food's gonna, like, better their life. They're just thinking, okay, I'm gonna eat this. I don't care where it came from or what's in it, but, or what's it gonna do in my body, but it's here, so, yeah, I'm gonna... Stuff it down my throat and, mm hmm So, um, yeah, I mean, as we enter the age of Aquarius, everyone's supposed to get a, um, a diet upgrade. So, like, meat eaters become vegetarians, vegetarians become vegans, vegans become raw foodists. And there actually is at the forefront of, I guess, nutrition, a new thing called breatharianism, or actually it's not new, it's, it's very, very old. Breatharians, breatharianism is pretty old. People have done it for a long time, where, um, I don't know. They say it's not about, like, not eating or starvation, it's about, like, Acknowledging that you can get energy from other sources than food. I mean, because food is just a form of energy. Um, so, yeah, I watched a video today. This guy seemed pretty, um, I don't know, an organization, a program where they teach people how to be breatharianism, but, like, if... If you want to eat, you just try to, I don't know, look at the other form, parts of life that aren't dealing with food or that, you know, the other forms of energy until you feel satisfied enough that you don't need to. Because, like, eating a meal is all about um feeling satisfied. And so that's Muladara and... Also, you can identify that, like, my sister, when I was talking about deja vu, deja vu, the phenomenon where people uh, say, like, I've seen this all before. That's the real translation of the French term, deja vu. I've seen this all before. Meaning, they, their brain gets, feels weird because they think we, I'm experiencing a repeat of my life or... I know there's the same thing, which I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, I mean, I've heard that it's just your brain remembering similar experiences, but but 
if it's similar experiences, I mean, that is, like, I've seen this all before. So, um, I don't know, tell me in the comments what you think Deja Vu is. Uh, I was talking about Deja Vu and Milodar. Because when I was talking about it with my sister, I said I got Deja Vu. And she said, do you know what Deja Poo is? I said, no, I mean, because that's not a thing. Deja poo. She said, it's when you feel like you've had that um, poo before. Which, I was like, ew. Gross. How old are you? Like, she, She's older than me, and it's like, you know, that's another thing that I think, it's like, what's real, because... You know, age isn't always representative of, um, you know, how smart someone is or, like, just because someone's older doesn't mean they deserve respect or, I think, you know, just because someone's your parents and they're older than you doesn't mean you should listen to them because a lot of people have stupid parents. But I'm lucky I, I have pretty smart parents. Uh, they both went to college got multiple degrees uh, um so some uh, Muladara and Deja Pu and another way to identify Muladara is I guess when people say they want to try something new then they just don't do it when they're you know it's Muladar is marked by, you know, them making all sorts of mistakes and not not being true to like what the what they're actually supposed to be doing. Like my sister wanted to get into yoga but I don't think she's done that yoga really yet. Like she was sitting outside on her mat once, but they told her about mountain pose and she said, Oh, that's so basic or Say so kind of basic, or I mean, it's not like it's her fault or anyone's fault because it's just part of human nature. Like, I guess that's kind of what Levain Satanism is about how it's all part of human the human nature to be a uh, terrible or not terrible, but not not very like competent creature. You know, because I think LeVay says, um, or why Marilyn Manson has that song, you say you want evolution, Dave was a great big hit. Say you want evolution, man, and I say that you full of shit. I think those lyrics mean that, okay, so what if we're, um, more evolved than, like, apes? Like, just because we have bigger brains, or because we do different things, like we speak a different language. That doesn't mean we're, um, like, we're better. Because, I mean, in the Satanic Bible, the Levian one, he does say that, um, like, animals are usually far better than humans. Because animal, animals are really smart. Like, that's what all the Tai Chi I do is about, or... Really, all of yoga, too, and, like, all martial arts, kind of, are, they're all based on animals and what animals do. Because animals are always, they're, like, the best fighters because, you know, they're being as offensive and as defensive as possible simultaneously. Because they like to conserve energy. Because they don't know when they're going to need to run away from a predator or where their next meal is coming from. Uh, but what I really want to talk about tonight was, um, oh yeah, so since I say that maybe you shouldn't, like, eat every day, because, I mean, what do you think people did in the, before the agricultural revolution, I guess? Or, you know, when people were hunter-gatherers, they were used to the feast-famine cycle. 
Um, so, uh, maybe not, like, maybe it's okay to eat every day. I mean, people say if you want to get a certain effect from certain foods, like better vision from, I don't know, spinach or arugula or sweet potatoes, like maybe you should eat them every day to keep up your vitamin A so you don't have a deficiency of vitamin A. But, um, so the thing about doing things every day, some things it's okay and some things it's, I mean, a lot of things I think if you're doing it every day, that's kind of not so good. Like, like if you're, if you're addicted to cigarettes, if you smoke cigarettes, like it's not as bad when you don't do it every day. Or, that goes for alcohol and probably, like, every drug. Um, it's okay to maybe do it, like, once in a while, but, like, if you do it every day, that's a pretty good sign that you're a, uh, you're, you're an alcoholic or you're an addict or, I know, it's not, it's not a good situation when you're doing things every day. Like, in going to Starbucks, I've heard that, you know, the polystyrene and the Starbucks styrofoam cups may be um, harmful to the human nervous system or it might be a nerve toxin or something, but, you know, it's not as, it's not really a problem when you do it, like, maybe once a month, like me, or, I don't know, a couple times a year, or like every other week but when you do it every day that's like like this girl I was talking to she said she goes to Starbucks every day and I was like trash that's trash like, yeah I mean and also cause Starbucks is basic that's uh, well, I called her trash, but, I mean, we're, we're friends, so she knew I was kind of, I was kidding. And, um, so things that are good to do every day. Uh, eat a banana. Eat a cucumber. Eat chia seeds. Uh, brush your teeth. Um, and the thing about brushing teeth, that could just be with, water and no toothpaste like because you know it's just the sensation of brushing like just say you brush your hair you don't put any you don't need to put any gel in it you can just just brush it to kind of get rid of stagnation or move things around again oh and something else important to do every day uh if you're into like acupuncture or acupuncture acupressure um hold that point every day like it it works best when you do it every day definitely acupressure because I mean when you do it like not very often or if you do it like I don't know maybe Monday then you forget until Friday then you do it Saturday then you forget until Wednesday, then, yeah, if you're doing it irregularly like that, it's, or not daily, it's not, it's not going to be effective. And same goes for a lot of martial arts, like, like Tai Chi, yoga, they're good things to do every day, or Qigong, or, um, drinking water, or, I mean, there are things such as dry fast, like, the longest the humans gone on a dry fast is 18 days. So, I mean, you might get dehydrated, but you're not going to die. Like, something more people should know about is, um, uh, like, Native Americans, when they have vision quests, and if you want to go on a real vision quest, they don't eat or drink water. So, nothing. Um... Like Coachella, even though it might be in the desert, or that's not a vision quest. So, people, make sure you got your 
Native American fuck straight, cause, you know, like, like I told my dad, I was an alchemist, and he, alchemist, and he laughed at me, because he was like, oh, I hope you find, get us some metal, or some gold, and, uh, no, like, real alchemy has nothing to do with the metals, that's just a metaphor, you know, turning lead into gold, that's a metaphor for Lead represents a really bad state, something in a bad state, like, like Harry Potter in the beginning of the books, he's living a life with his, like, his parents are dead and abusive, I think his abusive aunt and uncle, and they fed him table scraps, he lived on a floorboard, so he, that life would be represented by lead because it's very, like, slow, unrefined, and not desirable. It's not a desirable state. Desirable state, it's like no one wants that life. And then he goes on this journey and through the alchemical processes of like calcination, uh, distillation, or dissolution, distillation, um, conjunction, fermentation, uh, coagulation, um, uh, I don't know, the, the process where you see the pig ox tail, see I said distillation, calcination, dissolution, fermentation, coagulation, um, uh, oh, and projection is the last one. Uh, I oh, know there there are definitely more, but I I don't know them all offhand, off the top of my head. But um, do some research. Like there's the black phase, the red phase, and the white phase. Like, so um, yeah, like he didn't know what alchemy was. Oh, and back to Harry Potter, like, at the end, you know, he has an awesome life, like, he's a celebrity at a school, and people will consider him a superhero now. He's the type of superhero. Uh, so that would be a gold life, like, the gold standard, because, I mean, in my Tai Chi, the, the very best posture you can do, like, the final standing posture, you envision the color gold. Because the spleen is gold. We're, we, you know, these colors are all, like the organs are actually those colors. We're just envisioning those like color therapy. And we're also thinking of Mother Earth. Mother Earth is gold. And yeah, it's like the gold standard, the, I don't know, your first class gold. Um... You've completed the great work, you've, you've completed the alchemical process, you've transformed the uh, undesirable thing that was led into a desirable thing represented by gold. Um, what else to do every day? Only, he didn't, my dad didn't know what it was, so I mean... Maybe when someone brings up something you don't, you aren't familiar with, or you don't know about, like, you're gonna laugh at, like, my dad. Maybe do some research, or actually find out what these things are before you try to make conclusions about them, or say what they, what they mean, or pass them off for whatever. Like, if you don't do your research, you don't get to make, that's not an informed opinion. So, it's like, your opinion's just wrong. It's gonna be wrong no matter what, because if you don't, like, do your research, like, even, you can't just read what other people have written about the things, about the thing you're trying to find out about. You have to experience it firsthand. That's the best way. That's the only way. Uh, like when I told my um my aunt that I was vegan, she was like, um, "Do you eat birthday cake? 
do you do you eat plain pizza? What what do you eat? What can I feed you? And um like Okay, you could ask for one, I mean when someone says I'm this, I'm something that you've never heard of then like it'd be a good idea to ask them what it is or what what the rules are because I mean vegan if they don't know what vegan is just you can ask me I'll tell you it's not eating dairy eggs or meat or um I can serve fish meat definitely like fish is meat and or honey or I mean there is plant based and but I guess honey, the thing now is, you know, when, I guess this is the reason we don't use um, frogs for dissection in anatomy anymore. Because they're an endangered species or, you know, the amphibian, like, the chytrid fungus, big threat to amphibians. And, um, so now they're not, like, at least concerned. So now we use, like, Worms and arthropods, which are very abundant. Except bees, which are dying off a lot because of pesticides, which probably why I should buy organic. And, um, you know, the thing about honey is, you know, it's contributing to that. That bee, beekeeping apiary where they have like 60% of their fleet dies off in a year. And that's, that's normal, which, I mean, what if 60% of the cows died? That'd be terrible. Um, but I'm lucky because I live right near nature. You might hear in the background, or I hope you could hear. I mean, because it's a great sound. Um, right now, I'm hearing a bunch of, like, frogs or toads doing that like, gulping thing, like, mm -hmm. Um, now it's coming, uh, and the other thing I wanted to say is, last thing, um, I need to make a rant about, um, I guess a good thing to do every day is think about, or like really meditate, that's a good thing to do, because I'll make you think about New things that you normally don't think about. But think about, for one thing, um, all those stupid people that say, like, like, I only like the muffin top. The thing on top of the wrapper. Like, so I only like muffin tops. I throw the rest away because I'm too lazy to peel away the piece of paper. Or, like, I don't understand, like, you're literally telling me that you were outsmarted by a piece of paper. Like, you're weaker than a piece of paper. Like, I, I bet you are um, strong enough physically to bend it, but physical health doesn't count for much in my book, really, because, I mean, in the absence of willpower, all, um, the most complete set of virtues and talents is wholly worthless. So, like, yeah, if you don't have the um, willpower to tear away that paper, eat that muffin without, um, you know, caring. Maybe you eat some paper or, like, just use a spoon to spoon it out of the dish. Because the cupcake wrapper is just a dish. Um, use a spoon. That's the thing people do to eat the rest of the muffin so they don't have to throw it away. Because, I mean, if you're... If you say, I just like the muffin top, like, no, you're just, be honest, say, I'm too lazy or too stupid to peel away the wrapper, uh, or I can't, I wouldn't eat paper, because I'm scared of stuff that doesn't even exist. Like, just get it, get it straight, like, um... Just be honest. Don't make up these excuses. And I mean, with the cupcakes or the muffins, and um, 
And I guess... Um... That was kind of a rant, sorry. Um... I think that's all I want to talk about. Bye. Oh, and leave your comments or subscribe, like, dislike, whatever. I don't care. Um, but comment. I like your comments. Comment about deja vu. What you think about all this stuff I'm getting into. Bye. Love you. Um, YouTube, you're my sunshine. You're my only sunshine. You're my sunshine. My only sunshine.